Can I go to the bathrooms now? The bathroom. And on the other side of this door. Ah! She's green. She's green. No, I can't let it get it to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Hi, psycho, no! Looking at her made it painfully clear there wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her her. Sayaka. At all at once, I was overcome with dizziness, the nosies, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. How are you feeling, Sogi? There's some... I'm gonna check out your uh, body. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... Well, now's no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the Kelle But whatever they used to kill her, where did they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there is something glittery. That definitely concerns me. One another thing that concerns me is... There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless. So how come only her left finger? Sayaka's wrist has been added to the truth bullets. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saigo in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the knife in the stomach. Oh, what about uh, this hero on the wall here? I looked past Psycho to the wall behind her, and there I saw... What? Written in blood were the numbers 11037. Did Psycho do this? Well, there's only two things, I already checked them, right? Thrust into her stomach, and her wrist is very sad. And her finger has blood. There you go, it's well, I can fast forward. Oh, there's something here. Maybe she wants to take a shower. The water for the showers gets turned off at night time. So he wouldn't have uh, used the shower to wash away, but uh, the showers were turned off. I'm very sad. I mean, glad that happened. It, it looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. That's most likely Saiga's dying message. Oh, a reaction. I better react to your bloody numbers. I have never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final messages. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037? I have no idea what that could possibly mean, bro. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The resort? What is that? Well... Think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you are trying to say, but it's obvious that you're not gonna tell me. 
dying message has been added to the truth bullets. It sounds like Coco knows what Sayaka's dying message means. Well, honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who she had talked to. Well, when it comes to numbers, well, better to ask an ultimate pro gamer. Makoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? It gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame has been added to the truth bullets. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the boat broken door knob. The door knob. That's right. You didn't notice. Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kogo said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The door knob. The door knob. Are you seeing this? The door knob. What the hoagie? The door knob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious that this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girl's bathroom can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, I'm a told psycho, but... I did tell Sayaka about it last night, when we were switching the rooms. So what you were saying is, only you and Sayaka know about it. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears that up. What clears what up? I'm so lost, bro. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Coco. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Nice bathroom door knob. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from, and also, I should look into the DVD Sayaga got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in the video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me, that is. Will you talk to me, Mondo Burger? By the way... Yeah, no, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already... Trash room. Travis and trackish and throws. Okay, there's so much in there. Leave the area, yeah, I know. I know where you can get knives from the kitchen, because there were kitchen knives on the wall. Let us check out the kitchen knives. Is someone in the dining hall? What are you doing in the dining hall? Haina, are you investigating the dining hall? Hmm. Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all a first for me, you know. I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean, Aoyoi. And I do know why, but being in the dining hall helps keep me calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Cool. Cool. Now let me check the kitchen. Is someone in the kitchen? Hey! I see a missing knife. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small part. It looks like one of them is a missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or? I'd better see if anyone here knows more about it. 
Nicer. Kitchen knife set. Oh, bling, bling, bling. Bling, bling, bling. Leave us a kitchen? Yes, leave us a kitchen. Oh, you, 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 you. Do you know anything about the knives? Do you know anything about the knives? Hey, did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope, last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you are saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Mm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and it was me and I took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. It's proofs I didn't take it. Nicer. Um. Hey, by the way, do you really, did you really kill Psycho? What? Of course not. I will never kill Psycho. Haina, <laughs> do you really think I murdered her? Whoa. I mean well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean, you guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then kill one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, no. I honestly have no idea. Okay. That was nice. Uh, may I leave the area? Yes. Uh, where is the pro gamer? I have numbers to be investigated. Are there any pro gamers in the area? Uh, we have some dudes here. Hello, dude. Can I talk to you, dude? How are you feeling, dude? Very strange. So why was Psycho in your room when she was killed? Could it be, could be because you are the culprit? No, you got it all wrong, dude. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his <laughs> face. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you are still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? What? <laughs> After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? G the reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? She's dead because of me! Then it should have been me that died. <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. That's, uh, that's really true, then I... Partially killed her. Leon Kuvata. Seems like... Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Nameplate? Makoto. Well. Wait. Sa Sayaka. This is definitely my room, but the name place has Sayaka's name on it. What the? Why am I did the switch of my hand back? Huh, this is Sayaka's room, right? But the name place had, it has my own name on it. The name plates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched. Nani? So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Nicer. Dorm nameplates. Nicer. Okay, what about you, Hifumi Yamuri? Mm hmm. Hmm. Very strange. Mr. Naegi, what was Miss Maisono doing in your room? Let me just say this. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? Where is your pro game? Sakura. Crazy. Where is pro gamer? Will I find the pro gamer on the map? Pro gamer? Where is pro gamer? Oh yeah, she's in the gym because she she's a little uh, 
piece of leaf does you want to eat shit does you want to investigate all I want to go here I need to talk to the pro gamer I have numbers to be pro game I can't travel directly to the gymnasium so I guess I have to walk from here walkie 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 hey I have numbers man I have numbers I was hoping I could ask you something, Chi Hero. Huh? What is it, Chi Hero Makoto? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Mm hmm. Hmm. Sorry, no. Chi Hero slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just don't know. Well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. How could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No, couldn't be. Okay. How are you feeling, Yasha Hero? I don't want to die here. Help me! That was interesting. Okay. Maybe Junkie has back to life. I gently placed my hand on Junkie. I touched her. She died it. Very sad. She go to sleep. That was very interesting. Can I go somewhere else now? I need to like uh, go to the maps. And I need to go... Dining hall. Mm. Exclamation point. I have to go to so Psycho room to get the DVD from the garbage. Psycho, I have to get your DVD from the garbage. In uh, your room, not mine. Hello, Makoto's room, which is actually Sayaka's. I need the DVD to see the movie. The DVD with Sayaka's name on it. Sayaka got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. I wonder what did she see. It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Sayaka. I need to borrow this DVD. Okay, leave me here. I'm just pretty good. It's time to check out what's on her DVD. We have to go to the AV room to do that. A double AV. Alter egg wallet. AV here. I need to go to AV. Alright, it's time to watch the DVD, I guess. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in that player. I push a play and the screen was dark for a few seconds but then... Wow! Sugoi! An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Psycho. She was there, along with the friends she said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Accept that she was... deadered. My vision started to blur and darken and then... That voice had come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Suddenly the screen went dark, and in the next moment I saw something I could hardly believe. What happened? They killed her friends? What the? Psycho had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that, was the figures of the other girls would have had all simply collapsed. No. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, 
There's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Uh, it's uh, because the lead singer went missing, so Sayaka couldn't sing and uh, they all collapsed. They didn't actually die, they just split up and uh, everything went wrong. Yeah. That must be it, Ross. Look for the answer after graduation. Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows where they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person will take things this far? Well, that was quite interesting. Uh, it's a similar uh, video to mine, but... Uh, uh, hello, you. Listen to me. Do you have a second, Makoto? I have uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's storm has a nameplate on it to show whose room it is, right? You hear me? Well, it just so happens. Wait, no, no, no. You might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Forget everything I just said. Forget. Forget. Forget the beamer. <laughs> Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. Horrible mail. That was quite interesting. Can I go here? To the hearts of Lowy. Let us look at the map. Is someone else in this area? No. But there is someone in the main hall. Celeste! I have to talk to Celeste. No way I'm not going to talk to her. What is she doing in the main hall? You should be investigating. Why are you here, dude? Celeste, what are you up to? Are you trying to escape? Uh, do you have any clues or anything, Celeste? <laughs> what kind of clues? Let us just agree we do not know who the culprit is and leave it at that. Whatever secrets I may have, I don't intend on revealing anything until the class fire. Okay then, do you have any suggestions for where I should start looking? Well... Oh, so annoying. Must you fumble around fishing blindly for clues? <laughs> I suppose I w it wouldn't hurt to give you a little hint. The scene of the crime, naturally, but I think the trash room is also worth looking into. The trash room? <laughs> it is the perfect place to destroy evidence. However, there is one little problem. What is the problem? As for me... That place is filthy. I would rather die than set food in there. <laughs> I am trusting all of you to conduct a thorough investigation on my behalf. That's uh, nice of you. I guess we have to go to the trash room. Maybe we will find some trash. Like iron players in league. Now where uh, am I in the map right now? I don't know. Despair Hotel. I thought I'm in a school. Excuse me, I need to go to the garbage land. It is very important that I garbage this. Garbage can land. 